Welcome back to my channel, Kentucky Fried Fun, and welcome if you're new. Today, I am going to be doing a power hour clean with me, where I take basically an hour just to run through the house, picking things up, doing the dishes, and giving the floor a good vacuum. If you need some cleaning motivation, keep watching. What do we do? What do we do? I said you can do what you want to with me, yeah, I won't mind. As long as you stay with me, I'm alright. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ruth, and on my channel, you will find cleaning motivation, declutter motivation, and decoration inspiration. If you like that type of content, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe. And then once you've clicked that red subscribe button, be sure to also click that little bell that is right next to it so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. You said you want to kiss me. I remember thinking, is this really happening? If you like cleaning videos, go ahead and give my video a big thumbs up. That helps my channel out and that lets me know that you like this type of video. To start off my power hour, I'm just going to begin in our master bedroom by making our bed. just going to be clearing off my vanity I put on some makeup and just a little bit of jewelry that day and y'all it helped my mood so much so if you are struggling right now and just being stuck at home and things put on some makeup and jewelry I know it sounds crazy but it really will brighten up your mood into our living room I just went around the room folding the blankets straightening the pillows clearing most everything out I won't be clearing the things off there on the ottoman those are my husband's things that we cleared out of the garage this past weekend he will put them somewhere here in the house soon I'm sure hopefully but we did go through our garage y'all and we decluttered and cleared it out and organized it and it's so amazing I have pictures of before and after on my Instagram Instagram page. I'll be sure to leave my Instagram link here on the screen as well as down in my description box if you would like to follow me over on Instagram and see those before and after shots. I picked things up in our living room I headed on into my VIP kid classroom and started putting away my props from the lessons that I taught earlier in the morning The last room that I worked on today was our kitchen and I just started off in this little corner over here putting with my planner, organizing these papers and putting up our tablets. I continue just picking things up and putting things away and here shortly you'll see me putting away some little, I guess, oatmeal balls. That I made and I just combined them all into one container. Everything was picked up I started on the dishes by putting away the clean dishes before washing the dirty ones While 
time doing the dishes, I wanted to ask y'all how your Easter was. I hope you had a really good Easter. Ours was a lot of fun. Despite the fact that we were stuck at home, we still made the best of it. We started off, I had a couple lessons I taught in the morning, and then I made us a cute little breakfast, little cinnamon roll bunnies, and we had a couple eggs that we had dyed the night before. And then after that, we got into our Easter clothes, went outside and took some pretty pictures. You can see those on Instagram as well. And then once we had those taken, we sat down and watched our church's online service, which was really good. And then we had an Easter dinner. I had spent the day before on Saturday that morning preparing a bunch of dishes. And so it was just really nice to spend that Easter time with ourselves. And it was just really, really nice. Comment down below what you did on your quarantine Easter. You already know what's coming next. Time to get this sink scrubbed and nice and clean. I then used my Mrs. Meyers liquid baking soda to put on our stove and get up the extra like baking grease things like that and then I just followed it up with my all-purpose spray in the same lemon verbena scent to give it that nice shine and I also used the spray to clean off our countertops and table. The last thing that I got done that day was vacuuming the floors. I did have the bathroom and dusting on my list if I got around to that, but I didn't. I was not in the best of moods that day, but doing these things definitely brightened up my mood. I knew it would. I just knew I needed to get started. So if you are needing to brighten up your mood, I would definitely highly suggest going around your house and picking things up, doing the dishes, making your bed, giving your floor a nice vacuum. It definitely helped me. Just be yourself. Keep on doing. 
My other suggestion would be to get a puppy because I swear if I ever forget what it's like to be happy about every single little thing in life, I just watch our little puppy and he reminds me. to express yourself in your own way and we could have some fun no problems coming Thank y'all so much for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it gave you some motivation to get up and get something done in your house today. I promise you it will brighten your mood up so much. If you did enjoy my video, give my video a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more cleaning motivation, be sure you are subscribed and have your little bell clicked so that you don't miss out on my next upcoming video. I hope y'all have a blessed day and I'll see y'all later.